Hello Fatima, thanks for being here with me. I want to know much more about you and your work, how long you stay here in Children's Land. Uh, welcome to Chilia. Uh, I'm Fatima Abu Rashid from Amal Nasser village, the Bedouin village in north of Gaza. Uh, I started working in uh, Children's Land Kindergarten and Center since uh, to, uh, to, uh, 20 to uh, 12. Uh, 11 actually we started with Ventura the idea of having a kindergarten in this village because there was no a kindergarten no center for women in the village uh, so it's now uh, 12 years working with Ventura in a children land and after that we created Zena NGO and Zena Center I studied in Azhar University uh, education uh, in Azhar University uh, then I worked in some schools in Gaza, so uh, I have uh, I had a big, uh, a good background before coming to Children Land, and then we um, I had many trainings with uh, many um, institution in Gaza and even with the Ventura uh, staff uh, to be skilled for this work in Children Land. Can you tell us much more about this specific area of the Gaza Strip? Uh, as I told you, Nasser village is uh, in the north area of uh, Gaza, near the border with the Israeli. Uh, and uh, we have in this village uh, around uh, more than 5,000 persons living in this village. Uh, most of them are women and children. Uh, so um, there is a need for a kindergarten, uh, a center, and now in uh, children land we have this, and in Zena NGO, uh, in children land we work with the preschoolers, uh, children from three and a half until six years old. Uh, in Zena NGO we work uh, with we work with the women, girls, and uh, children in all other ages and also we help uh, other people we uh, had some uh, projects for disabled people to help uh, them with some assets uh, sometimes we have uh, some um, uh, some reliefs for th for the people uh, last year we distributed water clean water for the families for like 400 families in Oman Nasser and uh, Azbet Beit Hanun and uh, West uh, Beit Lahia. Uh, so as you can see, Children Land and Zena is uh, a center for all the community. Okay, and uh, I want to stay focused on the Yosef Gaza project and so I want you to, to share with us about uh, mental health issue and what you noticed in this area, especially, especially for children, mm. like uh, some sort of traumas uh, Yes, yes, yes. Actually, uh, be, mm, here in Oman Nasser, the problem that we are near the borders. So every aggression, we are the first people who uh, are uh, targeted. Uh, and most of the women and the children are traumatized because of this. Even if there is no aggression, uh, you can hear from here the, the sounds of uh, the military uh, uh, tanks, uh, some explosions. So every time there is uh, something bad happened here, and uh, we have our PSS team. But unfortunately, if you have this routine in your life, all the people will be traumatized. Not only the children and uh, the women, but you can notice that more on the children here in the kindergarten. I remember when we started. Um, the school after uh, the aggression of uh, uh, 214, mm -hmm. most of the children were traumatized and they were afraid to, some of them they were afraid to come, the other were very aggressive. Mm -hmm. So it took uh, us uh, a long time to help the, 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 the children and their families. And because of that, we continue our work in the mental health and uh, psychosocial support. So we have with Ventura our uh, specialist in BSST. I talked to Dr. Mohammed Abu Shawish and he explained to me that it's very important that the parents, mother and father, collaborate with you. Mm. And uh, do you find any kind of problems in uh, with the, uh, working with the family? 
Yes, uh, I will uh, talk about this. Uh, actually, there is um, in, in all the community, most of the community, let's say, they have the stigma of the, uh, going to the psychologist. Mm -hmm. But here in Umm Nasser, um, we worked on that actually. So we don't have this stigma. Uh, so uh, you can see that uh, many people, they are coming to us and ask for the services of uh, the PSST. Yes, it's different uh, than other places. So they, they are coming and asking for the services, and this is a good thing. But it, did, it didn't come from, uh, like from the air, because we worked with the people. Every time we have awareness campaign, with Vinto de Terra, we worked since we started, since um, 2011, 2011, we started this, you know? And uh, the good thing that we, um, the, the people here trust us, so they are coming to the uh, to the center, to the kindergarten, to Zena NGO. Yani, we worked hard, and uh, but sometimes, sometimes, some families they will not like to work with a, a male psychologist. Okay. They prefer female because if she will go to visit there in their homes. Uh, you know, they will more more comfortable, more comfortable yeah. if she will go to visit all the family. If with the uh, only the fathers, it's okay a psychologist. But with the the other females in the community, they prefer a female psychologist. Uh, uh, last question. I want to know if usually you notice you or the teachers notice mm. some uh, symptoms, some signs of of a trauma. Mm -hmm. Or it usually are mothers that comes to you and tell you there is something wrong in my child. I, I notice something mm. wrong. Some families they are aware of the, the trauma and they come to us. But usually, you know, most of the cases, the teachers uh, they noticed uh, the symptoms and they come to the team. We notice that and that. But as I told you, because of the stigma of psychologists. Some people maybe will not come, but or maybe they are not aware of that. They mm. said only, "Oh, my child is aggressive. He is a naughty boy." But mm. they didn't, they don't recognize that this is a uh, trauma. Okay. You know? okay, I got you. Yes. Okay. Thank you a lot. Welcome to Chile. Thank you a lot. Thank you.